to explain this jailbreak tweak called Pandy. I have to show it to you first. I have an iOS device here and I'm running 8.1 version. It works on all versions of iOS 8. I'm using it on my iPhone 6 Plus, but you can use it on an iPad or an iPod Touch as long as it's running iOS 8. There are iOS 7 and iOS 6 versions of this, but in this video, this particular version of this Pandy tweak is for iOS 8. Notice I don't have any songs on my iPod app. No artists, no songs, nothing synced from iTunes. This is the latest version of Pandora. When I hit play, it plays just like you would expect it to. But when I skip to the next song, it says tap to import or swipe to dismiss. There's a banner. If I don't want the song and I don't want to save it into my iTunes library, I swipe to ignore it. I skip to the next song, skip to the next song, and you'll see banners pop up like this. If I want to import the song, I just tap it. It will import that quick. Let's swipe this one away. Let's skip to the next song. Let's skip to the next song. Now notice there's no advertisement, no pop-ups. Notice there's unlimited skips. Let's tap to import this one. Let's tap to import this one. Let's swipe this one away. Now notice in my iPod app, I have these songs imported. You can play these songs offline without an internet connection. They're saved right there in iTunes. Let's pause that for a second. In order to get this app, you have to go into Cydia and download Pandy. Let's call it version 15 since that's the main number that's changed since the previous versions. Now the previous versions use Gremlin framework and Gremlin plugin pack. But for this version, they changed it over to Jody Box. I think that's how you say it. And Jody Box and Pandy work together so that you can import your songs. In the iOS 7 and 6 version, you were able to import the songs to your iTunes library on your Mac or PC. But in this version, they haven't gotten to that yet. But you really can import your songs into the iTunes app at least. And then when they have the update, I'm sure Cydia will update and show you changes to the Pandy app. Now in order to get the Pandy app, you have to go to this website, Firmware Umbrella. That sounds familiar. Semapore is the creator of this app. Semapore is a well-known developer in the jailbreak community. And separate from the firmware umbrella, which allows you to save your SHSH so that you can downgrade your iOS to an earlier version, there's a separate project going on in this page, and it's called Pandy. This is iOS 8, any version. So to get it, you have to hit pay now and donate $10. And what they'll do is they'll send you an email like this. And these two emails, one is your receipt from whatever way you paid for it. Keep that in case you ever need to prove that you paid for it. But this other email that you get, there's a link in here. And when you click this link, you get a chance to register your UDID. UDID is a way of um, identifying your particular device, your iOS device. Once you register your UDID, and I'll show you that in a second, you go into Cydia and you put this source right in. It's apt period semi four dot com forward slash private. And I'll show you that in a couple of seconds too. So let's click on this. This particular page is set up for your account. 
Notice that you're allowed to put five devices. Right now, I only have two devices, uh, an iPhone 5 and my iPhone 6 Plus. And you get your UI, UD ID and you put it in there into this field and you hit activate and it'll be added to the list. At any time, you can change uh, which devices you want, but you can only have five uh, total for your account. Once your UD ID is registered, you can go into Cydia. But let me show you how you find your UD ID. When you open iTunes with your iPhone connected to your lightning cable, you click on your iPhone, you have it on summary, and you see here there's a serial number. But if you just click that number, you'll sooner or later get over to your UD ID. You right mouse button, copy, go back into that other page, and put your, your UD ID in this field. Hit activate, and you'll be added to the list. Now, when you go into Cydia, when you're in Cydia, you can go to Sources, Edit, Add, and put that source link right in here, appsemi 4 dot com private and then add your source I already have it in but it loads up the usual way and down here you'll see the only tweak in there is Pandy this is Pandy version 15 now let me tell you about Pandy version 14 they used to use the gremlin and you used to be able to use it on iOS 6 and iOS 7 but everything's changed and they now use that other tweak that allows you to import songs and record them called Jody Box. So you go ahead and install the app. I already have it installed, but yours would say install. And once you install it, we'll go to settings, scroll down to your jailbreak tweaks, and you notice Pandy is here. By default, your record, allow record toggle is off. Turn it on because that will allow you to click to tap or swipe to dismiss like I showed you in the beginning of this video. If you have import by default, everything gets imported. Include album check will check your album covers and album to make sure that it doesn't record duplicates. And if you want to, you can record duplicates. So the way I have it set up here is how I usually use it. And now you're all set. Go into your Pandora, skip as many times as you want no advertisement and swipe to dismiss and tap to import in older versions of pandy you were able to import them into your library unfortunately they haven't gotten that far but this is a great start so i hope you enjoyed this tweet remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the comments bye bye